how to use and get the most out of your leafing pin. We have a gold and a silver pin that we're going to be using today and a couple of old pins to show you a couple of tricks and tips to get the most out of these markers. We will first do the ash door and what you first want to do is go ahead and remove your pin and start shaking it or you can tap it on your work surface to get the flow of the ink inside the pin. So do this for about 40 seconds, either shaking or tapping. Once you do that for 40 seconds, you can remove the cap and you will notice that your tip is still fairly white. So to get a couple of drops of ink at the bottom of this tip, we will go ahead and do it off to the work surface and push down and repeat for a couple of seconds until you see the ink to start coming out to the tip. Just like this. Now what you want to do is start painting your door and you can gently hold the tip of your pen and then come down with it to the shape of the letter. And the paint just flows right on there. So follow that all the way around to the shape of the letter. Just like that. If you happen to see that there's a couple of streaks, go ahead and just tap gently to fill that in. If not, you will get more streaks on there if you don't tap. If you need more ink at the tip of your marker, go ahead and shake it off to the side because you don't want any spills on your door. And then go ahead and press and pull with the shape of the letter just like this and remember you always want to start from the back to the front and from the top to the bottom so you don't smear the paint and re when you're reaching over to paint something else and just like this I'll show you a finished door to see what it looks like so this is your painted door. Then I'll show you our shelter door. This door has bigger letters as you can see so it takes a little bit of more paint. Go ahead and take your marker and you want to do the same motion of painting. Now Go ahead and take it and sweep back with it like this. Just like this. Or you can do small, short strokes. And like I said, if you see st strokes in your paint, go ahead and shake it up to the side. And then bring it over and push down so you can get a little bit of paint and use that motion again and go over it. Now with this bigger letter you will get streaks in the paint especially if it's a new marker like you can tell here there are a couple of streaks in there. What you want to do is either let it sit and come back to it and then put a second coat on there if not, take your marker and gently just go over it and tap it. But the best thing is to let it sit and then put a second coat to it. And I will show you a completed door. So this is what your completed shelter door looks like. Now, we will show you our fire chief door. This is our gold pin, and this is a more picky pin when using the process of what I just showed you. So if you're gonna shake it, either put the cap on or shake it off to the side, because this will spill. 
When you press down on, on it, press down gently because the flow of the ink is a lot and you'll get a spill. So do it preferably off to the work surface. And again, you want to start from the back and just do the same. And just do the same. We're going to shake it up and get some paint on there. And just do the same as the other marker. Just, this is a little bit easier because you get more paint to come down. The gold pens, the ink on it seems to be a lot more loose than the silver pens. So be careful with using this pen when you shake it and when you press and hold down on it. You can see this is fairly a good amount of ink that's on there. And you can fill it up just like that. And on this one, when you want to paint this one, you want to start from here, the back to the front, and then start from here and paint like at an angle down. Because if you start over here and then reach like this to paint this, you're going to smear it. It's easier if you start kind of like this and then go down with it. And I'll show you a completed door. You can see a completed door. And now I'm going to show you a couple of tricks on how to get the most out of these pins. I have two of the older markers that we use and on this one you can see how the tip flares out on there. What you want to do is flip the tip over. So take a napkin or something so you can touch the paint that has the ink. Remove the tip just like that and you want to take the other end and you want to push the bad end of the tip into the marker and then you have a better tip to paint with. Go ahead and shake it up a little bit and let it sit upside down so all the ink runs down and you get all of that ink, all of that ink out of the pin. And then you can start painting with it again. I'll show you off the side. This one's fairly gone, but um, once you do that, you'll get a lot more paint out of your marker and get the best use off of it. Off of it. And then you can start a fresh marker after that. Thank you for watching, Jason.